And Attorney General Justin Muturi says contaminated sugar allowed into the Kenyan market was released against guidance from his office and the Kenya Revenue Authority. In a press release a day after Kenya Bureau of Standards Acting Managing Director S. Tengari told the National Assembly that the National Environment Management Authority, Kenya Revenue Authority and Office of the Attorney General were responsible for the illegal release of contaminated sugar in the market, the Attorney General said his office played an advantage advisory role in the affair and that the Directorate of Criminal Investigation sought legal opinion on pursuing the case after the sugar was released. Motori saying KRA had also sought legal advice on disposal of the condemned sugar. This office received a request from KRA dated 14th December 2022 seeking a review, legal advice and concurrence on the proposed method of disposal of condemned sugar, especially on the sale by the Commissioner of Customs for Recovery of Taxes. And it goes on to read... That consequently, on the 19th of January 2023, this office convened a meeting with KRA and KEB's leadership to discuss the matter. Following the meeting, this office rendered a legal opinion to KRA and copied the same to KEBS and guided that the proposed method for the disposal of the condemned sugar was consistent with the provisions of the law. It goes on to read that this office concurred with the KRA's decision to recover import duty on the subject sugar since the sugar was being allowed into the country for alternative use, namely as a raw material to manufacture ethanol. And also goes on to read that KRA and KEBS should work together to develop a comprehensive framework to provide for the disposal of prohibited or condemned goods, which may nevertheless subject to the payment of import duty, be released for alternative use with the approval and supervision of the multi-agency team.